experiences. So from all these experiences, I'm sure you've learned a lot. But since this is money, not math, mm -hmm. um, when you think about just financial things, what's maybe the best one or two financial lessons you've learned from your experiences as vast as they are? Yeah, well, um, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I'll, I'll throw in another piece of the past. At, at one point, I had... Um, I was working as an, an engineering manager and I quit that job and I went and I opened a real estate brokerage. And that was like about the stupidest <laughs> thing I could do in the world um, in retrospect, right? But yeah. I, I had these great, this great vision for what I was going to do with it um, and it didn't work out. But, um, and luckily I got out of that with my shorts on. But, um, it, it, but that really adds perspective to kind of, it was also why I was so gun shy about trying something like that again. But, the second time round um, is uh, is really, you know, for anybody who's out there going to do a business, is just don't let the don't don't get ahead of yourself, right? Um, the first time around, I overcommitted. I overcommitted on my my lease. I overcommitted on all sorts of things where I had these fixed payments, and I thought, oh well, the uh, the sales will come in, and and that, that should be easy, right? That's but but I probably spent the same dollar three or four times, the same sales dollar that came in then was spent three or four times with commitments inside the, um, the business. So um, really that's probably one of the things I took away from that um, experience and, and really applied to the other one. With this business and this time around, I mean, I completely bootstrapped it and, and just went out and started, started getting accounts and getting that cash flow coming in, um, I'll, I'll make a little sideline. I sold the first account, and then you got to wait a month for that first one to come in. And that first residual payment was sixty nine cents from the uh, <laughs> little cafe down in Winger. So the biggest check you ever got. That, that was that was my first check. <laughs> it was deposited in my bank account, sixty nine cents. And and I was super excited. I went to carry my my wife. I'm like, look at this sixty nine cents. She's like, sixty nine cents. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but you don't you don't know what that what that is. We just got to multiply that, right? And you know, sixty nine cents. Okay, once I learn how to sell it better, how to structure the deals better, right? There's money, but that sixty nine cents is going to keep coming in, coming in, coming in. And you know, eventually that same little cafe, maybe I got them up to fifteen. They're maybe earning me 15 bucks a month, right? Mm -hmm. um, but then that can go on for five, six years, especially if you service your clients. So anyway, I, I, I digress a little bit, but the um, the real, um, probably the thing that I would say is just, you know, don't let your commitments get ahead of your income um, and, and watch it because, you know, it's, it's really nice to have them extra income at the end of the month and say, oh, what, what am I going to do with that? Mm -hmm. As opposed to, God, there's not enough there. How am I going to make this work? Absolutely. That's a terrible feeling. So correct me if I if I heard you wrong, but to re repeat back what I think I heard is, one, yeah. don't spend money before you make it. <laughs> Two, don't spend, good <laughs> don't spend more yeah. money than you make. Right. And three, make your money work for you. So when you said the 69 cent rule, that's not a lot itself. Yeah. But the first thing you thought of was, how can I multiply this? Right. How can I and, multiply And how can that? you get your money to work more for you? Is that yeah. that's what I heard? And hopefully yeah. that's yeah. That's yeah. No, no, absolutely. Um, you know, it's just, uh, um, you know, there's the, the reality is, is most of the money that comes in from the business right now goes back into the business. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm always leveraging that into new sorts of sorts of things. So, you know, I just I just spent two thousand dollars on equipment. Um, which I'm going to give to customers for free because I know that it's going to pay itself back Absolutely. before too long. And then it's just going to be, um, you know, I'm going to get all that back plus some. I, I know this because now I, you know, you give somebody some, some free equipment. Now you kind of reinforce that relationship yeah. and they're going to stick with you. Um, so, yeah, yeah, reinvesting and making that money, turning that money around and um, and making it work for you. I mean, I guess the the other little sideline i know that you did the um what was the um what the book was the book um misfortune oh the book the that book. i've been highlighting yeah, in the, my the, videos the book yeah. That you highlighted, um, yeah so for my, if anyone was not talking about i i'm reading a book right now that i highlight once in a while it's called misfortune isn't it time you became rich right I go back go back and read that book so i was exposed that way back in the day when i was um, um 
struggling with the real estate business. And um, but the thing in there is that um, uh, one of the first things I did was was and whatever I really leveraged things is the real estate. So so I I when I came to town I I bought a house and then when I left that house I didn't sell it I rented it and then and so now at this point I've got well the house we live in plus three other properties in town and the thing is is then just recently I went off and refinanced those and took the cash out and then used it to remodel and some to invest in the business and so there's there's a lot there's a lot of leverage going on um, but it's not like I'm going and borrowing money from other people I'm borrowing Absolutely. it from myself Absolutely. And there's a big, and I won't go too deep into it right now, but there's a big difference between having debt and being in debt. So what he just explained is how he's leveraged his previous equities to advance his wealth rather than being too scared to use right. it and ad right. take advantage of opportunities. And, so, and real estate, I would not advise real estate investments to make money, um, but it was a place to put some cash and then at least know that the rents coming in are, are going to pay for the mortgage plus a little bit. Don't expect to get rich fast off of that. So. <laughs>